All right, in this segment, uh, we got to tell people how to put this on APX mode. So it's really important to crank up your volume on your PC because it will not show anything on the screen. It will be like it's dead. And you have to make sure you have some kind of notification that it is on APX mode. So what you want to do is you want to hold the power and the volume up button for about 15 seconds. So I'm going to hold it up for about 15 seconds and it'll die out and you'll know if you're on APX mode. Let go right now. You'll know you're on APX mode if you press the power button and it doesn't even start at all. So the next thing you want to do is you want to hook this up to your computer. So you get your USB thing and you want to plug that in. Can you hear that? Computer says it's saw it. Everything is cool. So so in order for you to make sure that it is on your device, you want to go to your computer. Let me just uh, get this up right here. Get this to your computer. You right click on this thing, you go to properties and you go to your device manager, make sure it's on there and it'll be either listed will be listed as universal bus controller and I'll say NVIDIA recovery boost mobile device so it would be there so once that is there what you want to do then you know you're on APX mode then you can do the rest of the stuff now some pe some people are having problems like trying to load this up it's like hey why can't I load it on uh, APX mode I it's already on APX mode but my device driver doesn't recognize it well Windows 8 has a uh, has a security system that actually uh, stops you from installing like unsigned uh, drivers so what you need to do which is this is from his post too so you have to go through uh, go to settings and you have to go to uh, PC settings and it'll go into this menu thing right here and you want to go to general you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and it says advanced startup so it says restart now so what the machine is going to do is uh, it's going to restart right now and then yeah I was working on this last night I worked on it for like a good six hours and this was a I'm like so happy to just get my transformer uh, unbricked because I thought I really thought I bricked it so what you want to do next is you want to go uh, troubleshoot and troubleshoot and you go to advanced options go to advanced options and then you'll get a whole bunch of this stuff you know so I was like confused at first cuz uh, it kinda stopped from there but you go to startup settings and what you want to do is you want to disable driver signature enforcement so you want to restart your computer so computer is going to restart it'll be back up in a few seconds right here <coughs> and then you can choose from F1 to uh, hold on it says it right here there you go so it says it's uh, from F1 to F9 so you want to click F7, Disable Driver Signature Enforcement, so that you can actually load your drivers on and uh, be safe, especially on Windows 8, you know. So I'm just going to hit uh, F7 on this thing right here. And it's going to restart my computer. Now, restart would be like the same exact thing, and uh, I'll be right back as soon as uh, we get it back up.